Art consists of many different mediums, from the performing arts to fine arts, even digital photography. Joining us now from Austin to talk about her captivating visual storytelling is photographer Kat Alist. Hi Kat, good morning. Hey, good morning, how are you? I'm so good. I am fascinated by your creativity, your artistry when it comes to photography. Uh, if you don't mind, we wanna just start out by telling people about you. We have this great quote from V Magazine uh, and it describes your work as defying categorization because you're a little original, you're eccentric and that you both personally and professionally live your life by your own set of rules. Not what is typically expected from a female photographer. This is a great quote. Does this represent you? Yeah, I think so. I thought that was so cool. They said that I was I was really honored that they um, highlighted that. Um, I definitely just try to be as authentic as possible, whether that's in a professional setting or just hanging out with friends. Um, yeah, that's the foundation of everything I do. So. I love it, in your art and your real life, for sure. I mean, you're really pushing the boundaries of digital photography, which is super cool. Uh, what effects and techniques do you utilize in your work? Yeah, so I am, if I'm not creating work, I'm constantly researching um, the like ways that all the greats did things. So I'm sketching, I'm writing, I'm trying to refine all that down to one concept, and then I'm location scouting or collecting items to build a set. Excellent. Um, speaking of your techniques, you use unique color palettes and combinations, and they really play into conveying the emotion and the storytelling in your work, don't they? Yeah, for sure. Um, so color theory in all of my work is everything, not just because it's bright, bold colors usually. Um, I don't always do that, but um, I think that the use of color is more powerful to a viewer than a sentence about what your work is about. So I focus on color for that reason. And mm. um, yeah, just a fun added Thing. I have synesthesia, so every single word that you say, I say, if it's the same word, um, I see the same color combo for that. So sometimes those inspire me uh, to put into work that has nothing to do with the word I heard. So. Wow, that is very fascinating. You know, we really love uh, bright colors on our show here. We're a morning show, so we talk a lot about color and, and, and what it portrays, for sure. Uh, can we give a little light to your recent project, Smoke and Mirrors? Uh, what did you use to create the very distinct look in this project? Okay, so that was mostly with just two simple um, things. Uh, a soft filter over my lens and then I used mylar to create this so I didn't have a fog machine or smoke machine so I used the soft filter and this mylar was just really fun to use. I love it. Uh, I know that you believe by sharing your personal stories and your messages with people that art can really bring people together and create a community. Are you finding that currently through your work uh, down there in Austin? Yeah, so I'm often in LA, Austin, New York, um, and I think it's so magical. I think by sharing in all the ways, uh, there's power and vulnerability um, to openly share your truths, negative and positive, you're automatically um, helping someone around you. Uh, at least I like to think so. Um, and I think, you know, society doesn't always tell us it's okay to share our failures, uh, but I, I think that it's okay to just you know, be real in your journey, so. That's right, I like that message, be real in your journey. Thank you so much, Kat, it's actually really been a pleasure to talk to you. So, uh, I wanna Thank tell people you. where they can connect with you. Of course, her website is mynameiscat.com, but you really should follow her. Oh, look at that website. Follow her on Facebook, <laughs> Twitter, and Instagram, at Kat in the clouds with a Z. Cool, <laughs> take care, girl. Thank you, bye.